This whole thing has been MacGyver right from the start, Michelle. What are you talking about? Awesome. Good to see you, Garrett. It's great to see you. Nice uh, to have you visiting us in Calgary and coming to our, yeah. Well, I just appreciate you came out to pick me up at the airport. Well, it's not like we're going to make you take a cab or anything like that. Well, you know, Calgary's known for hospitality. Isn't there a reason why they wear the white hats? It is. It's a, it's a volunteer initiative that is welcoming Calgarians and making them... Uh, uh, when you get white-hatted, you're getting special treatment. You're basically being said, you're an honorary Calgarian. So in, in Newfoundland, they kiss the cod, but here you earn the white hat? Yeah. Is that how it works? Yeah, I should have got you a white hat, Garrett. Like, Gosh, do you, you fail. Do you have a white hat? I do not. Wow, so you I don't either. You haven't been white-hatted yet? I have not been white-hatted. to just chat about the speaking biz and pick your brain about mm. video and just talk about what's going on in, in this biz that we're in. Isn't that, but isn't that the great thing about CAPS? So I mean, great. there's there's such a, 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 a fantastic network of people right across the country who will really go out of their way to give you a hand. If you're ever stuck, I, it's happened to me many times. I'm sure, I I'm sure it's happened to you. We love our CAPS community. Yeah. What are you noticing though? What do you mean? Well, just in terms of the industry and, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, um, the, the, I think in terms of the industry, if you're asking, I, I'm going to say that there's been more change in the professional speaking business in the last year than there has been in the last 10 years. Yeah. But I don't know if everyone's up to speed so, on the rate of that change and who, why it's impacting the professional speaking business. Yeah, some people are getting it, some people aren't. Who do you think is master of their speaking domain? You mean who's really getting it? Yeah, who's really getting Master it. of the domain. <laughs> I would say, without question, Martin Latulip. Martin Latulip. Martin was telling me four or five years ago that the whole industry was going to go through a massive change from being a speaker to an expert and that you couldn't be an expert for real unless you were, you know, publishing online video. And he went way out in front of everybody else. So basically, for the last few years, I've been, especially the last two, uh, two and a half, I guess. We've been following in Martin's vapor trail, as it were. <laughs> so let me let me turn it back your way, Michelle. If I was to ask you, who's master of their speaking domain, what what name pops to mind? Probably Michael Kerr. Oh, really? Yeah, I admire his speaking business. I'd like to have it. He does video, and I think that's a big thing because it does show his level of expertise, but he's also meticulous at planning for the, and prepping on the platform. He's really good on the stage. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people does he just does he share. Does he take a page, a page from the Patricia Fripp playbook? That's a good question. You'd have to ask Michael that. But I, you know, he kind of, he kind of, he, he does his own thing. Okay. Yeah. You know, that reminds me, just name dropping Fripp all over the place. I, I, I don't know about you, but... I can't stand the people who name drop incessantly because Lisa, Lisa Vluswick and I were talking about that the other day and she was talking about the time when she was out golfing with Arnold Palmer and how she too, and when she got together afterwards with Arnie to speak about it, couldn't stand the people who just, you know, name drop like there's no tomorrow. Do you have any strong feelings on that? You know, if you know cool people, I, I think it's cool to share that you know cool people. I don't know any cool people except for you, Gare. <laughs> Well, I'm Michael Kerr. biggest change we need to put into our heads about it well it's something that uh, 
if you're asking me, I'm going to share it with you, and I'll share it with the entire CAPS mm -hmm. uh, family, is that we're at an age now, it, it's, it's so exciting to me in terms of the opportunity to be a partner and not a provider. So say more about that. Yeah, well, it's something that just just sort of surfaced a few weeks ago, and I. So let me explain. I, I've got a I've got an event coming up, Brantford, Ontario. Mm -hmm. Okay, public event. It's hosted by a local economic development area, uh, you know, organization, and I've already been paid. Money's in the bank account. Okay, so really, if I'm a provider, all I have to do show up. is show up, do, your do, thing. do a great show, like do a great event, you know, do what we do on the platform, and and, and I, leave. I and, and leave, and I've done my thing. I've met my quote unquote contractual but obligations. Partner, but if you're a partner, you're going to Brantford, Ontario, because it happened to be an hour down the road. You're taking. Um, some ideas about what you could do to shoot video that makes the connection from a Brantford audience perspective to the material you're actually going to share. So for me, the obvious thing was to talk about the great one. Wayne Gretzky's hometown, you go to the Wayne Gretzky Center, you're, you're amongst all that memorabilia, and you're talking about you know, one of Wayne Gretzky's famous quotes, skate to where the puck is going to be, not where it's been, and use that as a metaphor and tie it back to the content. And I think that's what is the, the you know, and really that Wayne Gretzky quote is the essence of what we're talking about. There's so many opportunities now for professional anticipate. speakers to anticipate. anticipate, skate anticipate. where the puck is going to go, not where it's already been. Ah. And so, so by and, being and so a partner, by, by being a partner, so we shot, we did a Facebook Live thing there with the guy who invited me. Uh, we shot, I think, three of these types of videos, and we gave them to the Economic uh, Association, the organization, so they could use those videos and that storytelling. And it really to, doesn't take that much time. Not really. Yeah. And it just, I had a hole in my calendar and I thought, wouldn't this be an interesting thing to experiment with? So, Looking you know, if you. you've got an event coming up, I think you've got one coming up. In with, April, I'm going to be emceeing and speaking several times at the HRIA event. So Human right. Resources Institute of Alberta in Edmonton. Right. And so we talked about the fact that I could do a video where we're talking about the economic downturn and how it is impacting the work uh, situations for HR providers across the province, across or, the country, really. Or but. depending on how the Oilers do in the playoffs with Connor McDavid, you could do a whole cultural shift that's happened as a result. I mean, let's face it, the Wouldn't Oilers... Wouldn't it be something if Calgary and Edmonton were in the finals and, together? And, and what if you could no. take maybe, you know, perhaps you could somehow spin something off yeah. the, the Battle of Alberta I'm and maybe make that relevant yeah. to the audience. Partner and, and rather than be, provider. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Be a partner, not a provider. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, this has been fun. This has been really fun. Thanks, Gare. I'm learning things. I always do when I hang out with you. Um, I do have to see if I win on my coffee, though. Oh, that's right. right. You're, you're right. one of those roll up the rim mm -hmm. girls. So, mm -hmm. anyway, um, thanks so much for joining us. Oh, play again. Doesn't this remind you of like a, of, of a TV show? I, mean, I was thinking about that the whole time we were driving with our mm. coffees in the car. I, I don't know. Yada, yada, Maybe. yada. I mean, I, it's, it'll come to me at some point. You're a master of your video domain, Gary. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you. <laughs> no gig for you. No gig for me. <laughs> come on. See, well, see how we do in this one. All right, three, two, one. What am I supposed to say? Oh yeah. <laughs> did um, you, did yeah. you forget your line? Yeah, I did. Totally did. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. So you're new to the speaking thing, are you? <laughs> just just breaking into the. Base. Every now and then, I just forget how.